Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. In the last video, we had work on the shortening method on our API. So if you haven't watched, I will link an i button on the description so you can follow that. In this video, we're going to work on the filled method, okay? So how you can filter the data on the base of the field, like name, price, like that thing, okay? So here we are on the code where we left in the last video. Now we can continue where we left. So let me give this comment. I'll call filled limit, okay, limiting and if let's come on and let me show you how the query look like so let's come here here we're going to build the filled query so we'll add this question mark and here we will say filled and we'll want to filter the data on the base of the name okay so this is how the filled method work so here we have the filled and whatever data will pass like name price or maybe a rating so whatever name you will pass in the field only those data you will get not other data okay so I'll show you in the practical. So that's the one field I have here. And I want to add the other field like a uh, duration. You can able to see here. And I want to add a difficulty. So that's the three field I want to add. And I want to get that only these three data. So you can see this is the field we have here. And it's looking perfect. Now, if we come here and let's build up. So it will say if request.query has a field. And again, we are doing on the main query, not on the copy query, okay? So here we have that one and we'll say const fields and we'll take this query and we have the field and we're going to simply call the split method and we have to split with the comma and then we have to join with the space. Okay, that's looking fine. And here we're going to simply update the query which we are sending and we want to select the data so the data we want to select the field okay so whatever query we are getting from the field that's the data we want to select and display send back to the user okay that's looking perfect and else what we're going to do is by going to simply remove this one okay so this let me show you so let's come up here and if i come here and if i make a request and scroll here here you can see we have this dash dash v okay so this one is created internally by mongoose because mongoose use this object use this variable to perform and serve the data so okay so i don't want to display this to my clients okay so i simply going to remove this it's not going to be removed but i'm going to hide it from the user so let's do that let's target this one and we'll come back to the code and here i'm going to provide this minus and i'm going to paste that variable dash dash v so when you provide this minus it will remove it will no longer display there so that's working fine and if you come here and if you simply turn this off and make a request so by default we'll get this so you can see here we have all the nft and right now we don't have that v okay it's gone we have successfully hidden that one so you can hide this in multiple ways. There are a lot of things you can do. You can see we don't have that one. Okay, now let's make the request on this. And here you can see we got the ID only. Why so? We need to get the ID, name, duration and difficulty. But we are getting only ID. We have some problem in the code. So we are getting the ID, okay? That means our fill functionality is working for so far. But we are not getting the actual data. So let's remove this. Maybe we have uh, some wrong spelling. No, let's remove this one as well. And let's hit enter. Okay, so we are getting the name, but what we are not getting the duration and we are not getting the difficulty. You can see we are getting the ID. So this ID will come no matter if you request or not. You can change it, but it will come because it's a unique identifier for that particular document. So we are getting the name. Okay, only name. And if I come here and that's what we have duration simply copy maybe i have miswritten the spelling and let's hit the request no it's not working without only name is working but when we are passing this duration it's not working so let's type the difficulty where is the problem we have here okay here we have to provide the space i forgot to add that okay so let's provide that space and now it will work silly mistake let's come back and now it will work now simply add as many fill as you want. So if I put difficulty and boom, here you can see. This is the ID name monkey monster and the difficulty is easy. The second one is the C Explorer medium. Okay, so here you will find the two data which you have put in the filter. Let's add one more duration. And uh, let's hit the request. Here you can see we got the duration. So that's how you can use this filled method. Okay, 
if you knew this we got only this two data duration and difficulty so this looks perfect and working fine and let's uh, add one more field which is the rating quantity hit enter and you can see rating quantity so this one is very useful when you want to display only little information about a particular document so you can add this field method okay so what happened generally in our home page the NFT has a lot of data, but in our home page, we have to show only few names. Okay, we want to display the name or descriptions or the price. So in such scenario, you can create this kind of things and display the data like this. Okay, but we're not going to follow that approach. We're going to follow more advanced one. So you can come back here and you can see this is the query. It's absolutely working fine here. And this one is also working fine, but you can see this is the one we have here. Let's make a request and let's try to have a look one more time. Let's provide this minus sign. What happens with this minus? And if we make the request, here we can see. So if you provide this minus sign, it will exclude. You will get all the result, but it will exclude from the data. So right now you won't find the difficulty, duration and rating. It's excluded from the data. So this is how you can include and exclude. Okay. With the minus sign, you can exclude and with the only difficult, where you can include okay so right now we have successfully excluded the data and i don't i also not want to display the created ad okay so just imagine that you are offering some sort of program and that's an old program and right now you are selling so if a user find out that this is an old program then he will not buy that okay so it's always necessary that you have to hide this created time okay so let's hide this one so created ad time we're going to hide it so to hide that we can do in the model way and we can do here but i'm going to follow the more advanced one okay so let's come here and go to the model we have created and we're going to hide here so to hide it down here we have this created ad and all we have to do is to call this method we call it select and we'll call select to false so this false means that this data would be not display to the clients to the user okay so if you come back and make a request you, you won't find this anymore you can see it's gone it's hidden it's there in the database but it's hidden so that's how you can hide it so looking good and let's bring the name back so this is the only name we have and looking perfect so that's the filter section we have let's close this down and i believe that you guys have learned something new you have understood that how this filled section work how you can filter the data on the base of the fill so if you want to include all you have to do is to provide the minus if you want to exclude provide the normal one okay so that's how it will work so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you have found valuable and in the next video we're going to work on the pagination which is a very important and you must have in your api so let's move to that